nitrogen is just one of those things that once you have it, you just can't believe you didn't used to have it. <laughs> now, liquid nitrogen is a uh, minus 196 degrees uh, Celsius. It's cold, cold. But it's not as freaky as uh, you might think. So when you, so I can put my hand in it, right? We have a marshmallow. Do we have one I didn't freeze? I froze them, I mean, I smashed them all, didn't I? What a jerk I am. <laughs> I always do that, I just keep pouring the stuff in. So, right, so I can put this marshmallow in, and I was talking to uh, someone today uh, uh, who's a Mechie uh, major here in uh, Austin, and whoa, and he, don't, that's just a table breaking, don't worry. And um, <laughs> I'll do this so that we don't get in too much trouble. And uh, he was saying that in the uh, lab where they use liquid nitrogen, they always use gloves. And there's a huge, huge kind of split between two different kinds of people that use liquid nitrogen, the gloved folk and the non-gloved folk. And I think you can kind of tell that I am in the non-gloved folk category. And uh, the reason is that there's kind of this really cool effect called the Leidenfrost effect. And what it is is, uh, whoops. When, uh, that's fine. Uh, what it is, is, is when my hand is so much warmer than the liquid nitrogen, that when I put it into the liquid nitrogen, it starts boiling and creates a layer of vapor around uh, my hand. And that layer of vapor protects me from freezing. Now, if I kept my hand in there, I'd be, I would be uh, like this marshmallow uh, is, like totally, uh, you know, brittle and shatter and I would be dead. But, um, but just short bursts in it and I'm okay. And, uh, in fact, the only time I've ever been horribly burned was when I was wearing a glove and the glove broke and the liquid nitrogen poured into my glove and I couldn't get the glove off fast enough. And so when I'm cooking, oh, I ruined our dragon's beard. Jeez. I didn't ruin it. The cool thing about liquid nitrogen is it's dry. So like after it, after it boils off, it's like you're totally good again. Why did I pour that on the table? Uh, okay. Uh, it's okay. Uh, so, uh, Rough night. So, well, some, some of the inter one of the interesting things about liquid nitrogen, aside from uh, its immense coldness, I'm going to remove it from this table. Don't worry, I have no vendetta against the table. Okay. Uh, one of the things that's interesting about it, aside from its uh, preposterous coldness, is the fact that it actually isn't that powerful. Ice is actually almost as powerful a chilling agent pound for pound as liquid nitrogen. Uh, part of that is because ice is like an amazingly powerful, wonderful thing. Uh, but uh, liquid nitrogen, just because of its crazy coldness, isn't that powerful. Which is why I always say this. I say this every time I've ever said, I'm sure you've heard on the radio a million times, people never bring enough liquid nitrogen to the party when they're coming because they don't, they think that a tiny bit of liquid nitrogen is going to go a long way. And no, and that's also why it's bad at cooling drinks typically, why it's better for chilling glasses or for doing nitro modeling and stuff like that. But I'm going to, and the reason is, is that liquid nitrogen doesn't actually uh, store that much energy as composed uh, to water. Now, you guys, uh, this is a demo that also has no culinary purpose, but I still love it. Um, <laughs> There's only a few degrees of difference between uh, where liquid nitrogen boils at atmospheric pressure and when it's ice. But you very rarely get to see liquid nitrogen as ice. So you remember before when I, I took the boiling water out of here and we said it's still cold? Yes? yes? Okay. So then, uh, in fact, it was actually colder because as I'm boiling it, we're getting evaporative cooling. So you're actually cooling it down further than it was through evaporative cooling, just like a swamp cooler. Well, when I do the same thing to nitrogen, so as I'm chilling this down, I'm sucking off nitrogen vapor and it's boiling. Well, what's happening as well is the temperature is dropping. And in, what do you think? Was it 25 seconds, something like that? Something like that? 30 seconds? Wait for it. Oh! That's nitrogen ice. Now here's a little bonus. Never, like all vacuum machines that I've ever used take too long for the vacuum to turn off such that I can actually get into and mess with the product inside. So never before tonight have I ever touched liquid, uh, uh, solid nitrogen ice before. But here we go. This machine, for some reason, is like, it's the sweet spot. I love this thing. Also, like, very nice for shooting. It's flat. Like, most of mine are, like, all domed because it's much more efficient. They can use thinner uh, plastic. This is like a freaking dream machine. It's got, like, a little shelf here. Loving it. Oh, here we go. Watch, watch. It's a race. 
Oh, no, no! Wait, still there, still there, still there, still good. No, it's all... I'm only allowed... I'm only allowed one. I'm only allowed one. I'll never be allowed again. I think you had... I think the stop button. Is that what did it? Yeah, when you did it last time, because it went through a cycle there. Oh, yeah? With the closing. <laughs> I touched it. You guys didn't get to see it, but I, I did touch it. Well, I right. it right there. Yeah, no, you saw it. These guys didn't get to see it. You saw it.